The owl is a satanic bird. The owl is a satanic bird. In Isaiah 34 and verse 13, you check it out, study it when you get home. It talks about during, that's about the end of the world when God burns everything up, when it's all over. He takes these birds and he shows, that's how spirits are going to be in, in hell and burning. And you know who's always on that list? Owl, come around. Them screech owl. Owl, I know that we have an obsession with owls in our country today. And I believe that's why. Everywhere you look, it's owl jewelry, owl necklaces, owl bracelets, owl ring. And somebody told me just the other day, said, I, they're just so cute. I don't, I don't never have thought that. Uh, I don't, they have big eyes and a big head, the same picture face as aliens. And I ain't done, I'm just getting started. You need to rush up on your education. And I'm fixing to educate you. Are you listening? They are, they, are, they are nocturnal. That means they can see at night. They fly around at night. They have 100 times the vision of a man. They, can, they, they work at night. They're unclean. Now, we have this as the wise old owl represents wisdom. And that's true. But the Bible said that serpent was wise and subtle. So if the Holy Spirit, listen to me, if the Holy Spirit represents by a dove, you can mark it down, brother. The devil and his demons represent by an owl. You can mark it down. I ain't through. I'm just getting started. They abide in ruin. I've seen people with owls tattooed on their on their on their uh, their back or their chest. I know there's an owl, little bitty owl, on your dollar bill. You probably ninety percent of you can't even find it. Don't look now. Uh, but as soon as I get through, see if you can find that owl on that dollar bill. And ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you are, the love of money is the root of all evil. We'll talk more about that maybe at another time. T-shirts, uh, stickers, everything. Up uh, there, they're, they're, they're connected with alien abductions and, and demonic spirits. Now listen to me. All these movies that Hollywood makes, listen to me carefully. All these movies that Hollywood makes are based on stuff that's true, and Hollywood carries them to the extreme so that you will think it's fiction. Just like zombies, just like people come back from the dead, just like you make all these monsters. That's, you know why? That's so epic. That's silly. That's just Hollywood. That's what the devil wants you to think. So it's like the thing at Roswell, New Mexico, back in the 40s, when that, all that UFO stuff, it's a known fact. Anybody who's done their homework knows something crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. There was recovered bodies. There was all kind of weird stuff. They, they were not coming from outer space. There ain't nobody that lives out in outer space unless God lets the demons fly around out there sometime. There is no people on other planets. They are not coming from outer space. They're coming from down there. And the Bible teaches that all the way through. The earth opens up in the book of Revelation and creatures come out of this earth. And up there in Nome, Alaska, they made a movie of it called The Fourth Kind. I saw part of it. I don't recommend you watch it. It's some stupid Hollywood movie. But there was a, there was a, a psychologist, psychiatrist named Abigail Tyler and done study after her husband died and she interviewed all these people. In Nome, Alaska, a little old town, there was like tons of people disappearing, disappearing for no known reason. And it is a, it is a fact that there's people disappeared in Nome, Alaska. The unbelievers say, oh, they're just, somebody went fishing, they drowned. It's awful cold up here. But they have an unusual amount of people disappearing. You can look it up when you get time. They made a movie out of it with with the supposedly documented. I do not say I endorse that movie. I don't say that the movie is even right. I am saying it's based on truth, and the movie carried it way over here, so you'd think it was all a joke, but it's not. Case after case after case. Those people said I'd be in the band, and I'd wake up at 3.33. The clock would say 3.33. And there was a large white owl at my window. And then somebody else would come in and say the very same thing that didn't even know that person. It's documented. So Al represents, if the Holy Spirit, you say, that can't be. If the Holy Spirit can represent, read about the dove, an owl can represent an evil spirit. You know what the Indians believed for years? 
The Indians believed for years that owls were the keeper of the spirit world gate and that they contained souls of the dead. Whitley Strieber, in his famous communion movie and book many years ago, mentioned the influence of owls in his, in his alien abduction and things like that. All right. The most rich and popular politicians in America go to a place in California every year called Bohemian Grove. How many of you ever heard of the Bohemian Grove? Well, you need to do your homework. You watch too many stupid shows. Bohemian Grove's out in California, documented fact, the, the, the bunch of men meet there acting weird every year and they have a ritual. Somebody broke in there and filmed it. You can see it. It's on YouTube. And they have a ritual in front of a 40-foot owl and dance around that thing and want the gods of, of prosperity and wealth. Soup. You'd be shocked if I named you the politicians that go there every year. Standing naked against the oak tree. Weird stuff like that. I mean, it's all, it's documented. It's not, I'm not joking. It's satanic. And something you can see represents something you can't see. Listen, this country this morning is so run over with evil spirits and demonic activity, it's scary, people. It's scary. You say, I don't believe, I believe that's silly. That's exactly what the devil wants you to think. Exactly. You see those owls on the Illuminati, the occult symbols, the Masonic Lodge stuff, all the way through. He's a satanic bird. 